The bounce cycle is a spiral process that every person and business needs to go through in order to get past those tough times and bounce forward. There are five steps to the cycle and once you get a clear understanding of each individual step, you'll begin to understand the importance of this process. Here is the bounce cycle model. And as you can see it, it operates in a spiral clockwise rotation. The reason we have done this was to show that we need to bounce back in order to bounce forward. But anyway, let's unpack this further. First step of the bounce cycle is the crisis point. Every business has a crisis or a problem within. Be real about that problem. Do not ignore it, but tackle it full on. Uncover all of its aspects and begin to fix it. Many are not real about the crisis and ignore it or just deal with the surface things at best. I was recently talking to the owner of a large retail chain. He was the third generation of his business enterprise and they had recently had some really made some really bad decisions. They were focused on too much getting bigger and they neglected everything else. You know, sometimes we need to stop focusing on getting bigger and realise that if we get better, our customers will demand us to get bigger. So the first step of the bounce cycle is this crisis. The next step is the downturn. This is the point of make or break. Decisive decisions need to be made in order to bounce. You will have no bounce if tough decisions are not made. This is a crucial time. If your business is changing and the key staff is resisting that change, get rid of them. Seriously, we need to make the tough calls. And look, here's a suggestion of how to fire someone. Say to them, look, I'm going to free your future. Look, I I've got some great news for you. I'm going to free your future. You know, use it. Make the big, make the tough calls. Here's another thought. If you are over 40 years old, you are probably not going to recognise the next big idea. You have to create an environment to leverage everyone to think. So in the midst of a downturn, make sure the tough decisions are being made. So you have made it to the point in the cycle where things begin to turn around. This is the bounce step. This can also be the most trying time because it is the lowest point of the cycle. You know, sometimes in the lowest point of the cycle, we are blinded by just the basic things, like, you know, making things better for our customers. You know, if you are not on a constant mission to make your business better, you'll become more of a critic of your competitors and eventually you'll be threatened by what they are actually trying to do out of the ordinary. You know, try not to get to that negative, bitter place. I'm sure you know what I mean. You know, just stick to the purpose and mission and you will not regret it. Stay focused because things can just get better from here. The next step are the opportunities. You have got through the most difficult time, things are looking up and more and more opportunities are coming your way. You know, luck is where preparation meets opportunity. When we see someone that has had massive success, we sometimes think to ourselves, wow, that guy's really lucky. But luck is actually where preparation is paramount. Continue to create and innovate and discover the opportunities that are really everywhere. You know, the Chinese have a two syllabus word for the word crisis. It's danger and opportunity. You know, crisis equals opportunity. If you look at some of the greatest events that have happened in the history of time, they all derived from a crisis moment. But the cycle doesn't stop here. So the last step of the bounce cycle is the moment of bouncing forward. You cannot have the same thinking that got you into the crisis in the first place. So it's not about bouncing back from the crisis. It's about being, being the thought leader and enduring the rewards of coming through that bounce cycle and bouncing forward. Success and significance comes from the people that pick themselves up from a crisis. You know, but really there's a difference between success and significance. You know, success teaches us that it's all about, you know, having the fatter wallet, the bigger car, the better holiday home, etc. But the true meaning of success for me is similar to significance, which is this, making a difference in other people's lives. So in closing, I want you to think of an area where you can be significant, something that you have bounced forward from. How can you now help and be the significance that you were meant to be? Thank you, I'm Sam Cawthorn and let's not only bounce back, but let's bounce forward.